Hi guys, hope you're all doing well and welcome back to our series of Microsoft in Tune. And in this video, I'm going to talk about Selective Wipe. Now, if you're watching the series from the beginning, in the last video, we have discussed about Intune app protection policies, whereas the agenda of this video will be knowing what is Selective Wipe, how it works and how to create a Selective Wipe request for a user. Now, in a nutshell, think about a scenario wherein a user is using a device that can be managed device or that cannot be managed device. But with the help of enterprise app protection policies, what you can actually do is you can protect the enterprise data that's been saved in this application. Now, what will happen in a nutshell that when you will create a wipe request through Microsoft Intune, this protected data that exists in a protected application or managed application will be removed. And this doesn't apply only to Outlook app, any application for which you have scoped app protection policies, the data from all the protected applications will be removed. Now, this is a kind of request which is actually initiated in cases wherein the user has left the organization or his or her device has been stolen or the device is lost. Selective wipe is actually used to remove enterprise specific data from the application which is protected without making any changes to the personal data stored in the app. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my portal where I'm signed in as global admin and I'll show you how to create a selective wipe request. So this is my browser where I have signed in with global admin credential and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Intune app protection and then I'm going to click on app selective wipe. Now this is a fairly simple console and very limited set of options is just you have to make sure that the user for which you are scoping the wipe request the app protection policies are already in place so if i'll click on create wipe request straight away i'm getting the option to select the user but now what i'm going to do is i'm going to project my phone as of now a personal account is already configured i'll configure an enterprise account and then once we create this wipe request the data from the device should be removed so this is my device where i have already installed outlook and a personal account is configured now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add my enterprise account so that once the wipe request is being sent only the enterprise specific information should be removed so now I'm going to click on add email account and then I'm going to type my username and my password. Now this is the same account for which app protection policies are also in place and we will be generating a user specific wipe request. So now what we will do is the request will be scoped only to this particular user which is MFA. I'll click on add account and now I'm going to type my password and then I'll click on sign in. Now, once the sign in is completed, I'll again get the same prompt that your organization is protecting the data in this particular app. Once that app protection policies are applied, then we can actually send a wipe request. And as you can see, now I'm getting the same prompt which comes once the app protection policies are triggered for a specific application. I'm going to click on OK. The entire app is closed now. And again, I'm going to launch Outlook. Now, this is a device which is as of now not enrolled. So be very specific about this that app selective wipe can be sent to any device with which the app protection policies are in place. So if I open company portal app and I'll go to the device section. In fact, I'm not even signed into this particular application. Let's just quickly sign in and show you that this device is not enrolled. Now I've clicked on sign in and the base console, the first console in, in fact of this application will show that your device is not enrolled and begin or start the process of enrolling the device. As you can see, I'm getting the same prompt. I'll cancel this and then I'll click on device. So as you can see that this is a device which is not managed, 
but the Outlook application has enterprise account configured as well as personal account configured. Now when I will create a wipe request and that request will be received by this particular device, all the enterprise data will be removed from this particular application. So for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my browser and I'm going to click on select user and then I'm going to select that particular user which is MFA. I'll click on select and now I'm going to select my device and I'll click on create. Now the moment I have clicked on create a wipe request is generated for all the applications. As I've said before that the data will be removed from all the protected applications. Now this does require the application to be relaunched on the device and usually this is something which happens very quickly but the upper limit is 30 minutes. So within 30 minutes all the data will be removed from the respective applications. So now what I'm going to do is I'm again going to project my device and I'm going to restart the application and let's see what is the experience that we get. So as you can see, I have relaunched the application and now it is showing me checking your organization's data access requirement for this particular app. Now this is the request wherein the application has received a wipe request and the moment I will click on OK, the application will close now. Now once I'll go back to Outlook and I'll launch. Now in this case, what will happen? The org data will not be mentioned here because all the data has been wiped or all the protected data has been successfully wiped. Now if you go back to portal and just refresh all the wipe request for Outlook, it should show completed because this is something, this status is actually updated in real time. And as you can see, the wipe request for Outlook is completed. Now the reason why all these are showing as pending because I don't have these applications installed on my device. So this was all about knowing how app selective wipe works. Let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed. We have discussed about selective wipe, how exactly it works and how to create selective wipe requests for users. In the next video, I'm going to talk about Intune MDM. Now, if our channel is helping you to learn anything new, please feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time. Bye bye.